What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today guys I'm actually doing a follow-up that was long overdue for a video that I did a while back. And for those of you who don't know, I was a, such a big fan of the Lethal Weapon TV series, which was a reboot of the original films done by Shane Black and uh, Richard Donner, starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover as Riggs and Murtaugh. So naturally, when the show came on board, I was surprised with how great and how in-depth the show was. You had a great cast. You had great leading men. Damon Wayne's back in action and a uh, clean Crawford who I'd never heard or seen of before until this show and they were bringing their a game season one came season two came and I didn't even realize all the controversy that happened behind the scenes whether it was uh, about Clayne Crawford or the, the relationship that he had with Damon Wayne's on set uh, being a directed or being a director or writing and all the other stuff that they were doing until it came out that he was being fired which all this ended up happening with a groundswell on the season finale episode of Lethal Weapon. He ends up uh, getting replaced by Sean William Scott, of all people. And there were rumors whether or not Sean William Scott was actually going to be a relative of his or someone totally different or actually play Riggs himself. Thank goodness they didn't make him Riggs. But the, the thing is that this whole situation was just crappy. Riggs is the namesake of the show. Riggs is the lethal weapon, and even going back into the old films, in the first movie, he is the lethal weapon. He is the namesake of the films and whatnot. He's the emotional weight, if, as it were, because he's who we really gravitate and kind of focus on. And in this show, it was very evident, and this was like Clay and Crawford's really big breakthrough role. He had been in some independent things here and there and made some appearances in shows such as Leverage and whatnot, but... This is the show that really made him a household name to me personally. So some time passes, we see how everything's playing out, and then all of a sudden you see this big hour-plus-long interview that Clayne did with a friend of his on podcast. Look it up on YouTube and actually watch this, because this is very telling of the stuff that he had to go through, not only as an actor uh, for the first and second seasons, but also having to deal with Damon Wayans from his perspective. So after seeing that, I was really tainted. I mean... It was just unbelievable. I mean, I could understand where he was coming from because, you know, I want to be an actor and I can understand all the different things that he was kind of crying and bitching about, which really isn't crying and bitching if they're very valid and there are certain points. It's like you're working with someone who's dragging ass and you're trying to do your job and actually make a believable story and whatnot. Plus, he had directing duties and he had to do rewrites and everything on the spot because of difficult working conditions as far as difficulty with his actors specifically Damon Wayne's as he put it looking back Damon Wayne's deactivated his social media accounts that's an interesting aspect to that and then just recently after the season three premiere we're like maybe two three episodes deep which I've only seen the first premiere one which I didn't think was so so bad despite feeling the big gap and hole that was left by Clayne Crawford's you know non-appearance in this series and kind of firing um Damon Wayans has actually came out and said on a video interview that he's not doing the show after this season's done. After the regular season order of 13 episodes, he's completely done with the show. Looking at everything, I just think it's a messed up situation. We had an amazing show that was in the making, and of all things, it was a reboot that was really kicking it up a notch and actually raising the bar, not only for reboots, but for regular television. This was giving us some very good content. It had some very heartwarming moments, very deep emotional moments. The plot and the story was very enthralling and enticing, none the least of which was in due part, in main part, to both of the main characters. Both Damon Wayans and a little bit more so Clayne Crawford are the reasons why this show worked. But why didn't Damon Wayans just stop doing the show sooner? They could have written him off as him retiring. He could have done some cameos here and there. There would have been no love lost and he still would have gotten paid. And then maybe he could have come back for maybe a season finale or when he was game and had a lot more free time on his hands. They could have just thrown him right back into the mix. But all in all, guys, when looking at the show, all I'm going to see is just the disappointment because of the longevity that could have been for this show. I mean, I just don't understand why they couldn't put aside their differences and have had the show be kind of a running success. But maybe sometimes it's kind of like a chemical composition. Certain things just don't mix well together. And clearly, Clayne Crawford and Damon Wayans didn't mix well together or their work ethics, even though they had such great chemistry working together on the screen as these two characters. 
But all in all, guys, I'm disappointed. I mean, again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, remember to hit that bell button. That way you never miss an episode of my content. But until next time, guys, that is all for now. And remember, guys, I'm Jay. And take care. Bye.